Hi, I'm Robin Bailey. I'm the executive director at the Burlington Food Bank. And uh, once again, we're still open. Um, we've uh, definitely changed the way that we do things and gone more to a delivery model. Uh, yesterday, we served uh, about 28 families and 16 of those, we actually did home delivery for them. Uh, today, we've uh, only had one person actually show up at our door, but lots of deliveries. So we're definitely doing our best to uh, try to keep people safe and make sure that we're sending people, stay keeping them home and then being able to send out a volunteer that takes four, five different orders at one time, goes around, drops them at the door, gives a quick phone call and lets them know that the food's there and ready for them. Uh, if someone does arrive here, we just ask them to, uh, to order through the window here. Uh, that way we're still keeping our distance. Um, and then we, uh, once all of their order's ready, we put it on this little table right here. We uh, let the door open. Right now it's locked. Uh, but we, uh, we automatically open the door with our, um, our, our button and then uh, they pick up their own food and take it out to their own vehicle and they're on their way. So we've, uh, we've done our best to, uh, to try to do everything we can to make sure that we're keeping people safe, whether it be our volunteers, our staff, or if it's uh, just the general public that need our assistance. Uh, again, when it comes to donating, the biggest thing for us right now is to, if you can financially help us, it's fantastic. Uh, but if you can just be an advocate and let people know that there's a need, that uh, we just have a, a great desire to try to serve the people who need the food. And we've seen already just in emails that I've gotten or phone calls we've gotten where people are almost in tears because they never thought they'd have to use the food bank. And, uh, and now they do because they've lost their job and they're, on the, they're waiting for their EI to come in. And they've been living pretty tight and, and been able to make it work till now. And now they're they're looking for some help, and we've uh, we've been able to support them because of the generosity of uh, of our community here in Burlington. So thank you for that, and it, it really allows us to do what we're supposed to be doing, uh, and that's serving the the community here in Burlington as best we can. And a couple of days ago, you mentioned something about uh, we we need tips on uh, where yeah. we can find. Yeah. So uh, really, what it comes down to is we're trying to buy food. <laughs> uh, the problem is that. A lot of the grocery stores can't sell us uh, big bulk volumes and some, some maybe can but we haven't been able to connect with them. We aren't sure who they are. So if you know who they are, uh, if you happen to be a store owner, a franchisee or whatever it might be, or you know a supply chain connect for us, uh, let us know. Um, we Again, we're, we're more than willing to go out and purchase that food and, uh, and get it here. Uh, but we're trying to load up hampers for people so that when they call and they or they email, they can place that order and then we can actually get it out to them. Uh, we've been able to, to kind of stay on top of it so far, but we're definitely looking right now for canned fruit is a big one for us to be able to buy, canned fish and canned meat, uh, as well as uh, pasta, oatmeal, um, and just some, some other items that, uh, that you maybe wouldn't think of, uh, personal hygiene products and stuff like that. And the other great thing that you could donate if you're looking to, to give something to us is sanitizer. So if you have Lysol wipes, maybe a, you know you bought a whole bunch of extra and you could spare uh, a jar or two, that would be great for us, or hand sanitizer so that we can uh, make sure that our, our uh, volunteers here are keeping safe. And we just want to thank the distilleries here in Ontario that have kind of stepped up. We know that Dylan's Distillery have been in contact with us that they're probably going to give us a little bit of a donation of hand sanitizer. I know the Labatt has kind of changed everything over for them. And uh, it's just great to know that there's a, a bunch of different companies here in Ontario that are willing to change what they're doing to be able to assist us as a whole province. So uh, thank you to all of those, uh, those different manufacturing plants and things that are changing what they do uh, for now to be able to help us out as a whole province. Thanks, Robin, and thanks for... Uh great job you guys are doing thanks again and uh again thank you for your support uh all of burlington and anyone from outside of burlington who's uh who's kicked in to help us out here at the burlington food bank thanks